Hello Stratters, welcome. This will be a triple Ravnica draft and um, just so you know I haven't been drafting this set at all so I don't really know what what you're supposed to go for but we will explore that together. I know that there are four guilds, Boros, Demir, Celestia and Golgari so that should be pretty good. Uh, Three, four, four, six. That pumps your team, and you can put a legendary two, two. That has to be pretty good, I'd imagine. We have two good Demir cards: a mill card and a signet, and a beater. There's a lot of good Demir, it seems. Then we got Guardian with the Vita Gas. It's probably pretty good. Convoke. Uh, what do you do? Okay. I think you'll start with the Celestia guy. It seems pretty good to me. Not the biggest one, but uh, seems decent. And I'm not certain how early you can commit, but I mean, I'm gonna take this and see if Celestia is open. Basically, three dreams. Uh, no. Uh, what do you do? Okay, so we got another Boros Garrison and a Boros Signet. Safeguard seems pretty good. Fist of Ironwood has to be pretty good, I'd imagine. Putting two tokens into play has to be really good. What do you do? Counter target spell and then you can mill. That's also pretty good. Since there's so... It's, it's not easy to take a card that goes into multiple guilds. Okay, I think he's gonna take Fists of Ironwood. It seems like a pretty decent card. I do know Bounce Lands are good, so don't get me wrong, but it seems like we could have a decent start to Celestia here. <sighs> okay, more really good Demir cards, Golgari cards. Gather yeah, Courage is not really my my idea of a good card. What do you? Okay, decent. Uh, I'm not certain that there is a good um, a good Celestia card. It doesn't seem like it. You could take this, I guess. Mm. I'm leaning towards taking the Entrancer, but that might be completely wrong. But Demir seems kind of open, and he is just really, really good. Could take the bounce land, goes with fists of ironwood. I'm just gonna take Entrancer, I think. Or I take Demir Signet actually. I'm gonna take the Entrancer. See where we end up. Uh, another pretty pretty empty Celestia pack. What do you do? Okay, it's Mind Rot or Divination. Good removal spell. What do you do? Remove and spell fill. Okay. A double looter. I'm leaning towards taking Clinging Darkness just because it seems really good. Uh, we got a transmute card, I guess, which is also pretty good. I think Clinging Darkness is sweet. I'm gonna take that. I got a Rot Farm Peel from Reality. What do you do? That's uh, not super good. Okay. Prevent damage. We got an Elf. And we got a rot farm because Golgari seems pretty open to. I I wonder if it's better than peel from reality. Just take Golgari rot farm here. I I bet that it is. Not certain if you would like to splash a green card in. In a Demir deck or a black card in a Celestia deck, but we will see. Uh, for each card, put that card into your graveyard, unless you pay to love, then put the rest in your hand. 
so I can draw any number of cards if I pay two life okay I think this one seems pretty sweet uh, Conclave Phalanx is pretty good too okay I just have to read up on the cards so it's a mind rot that gives regenerate to sprite something I think he's gonna take clutch of the underseed it seems pretty good to me Boros Cygnus and Sun Home jeez Stasis Cell? that's pretty good Create a master, what did you do? No. No, I think he's gonna take Stasis Cell. See if anything comes back here. We got a Shambling Shell. What do you do? No, it's not really that great. None of these cards are that great. I guess we take Shambling Shell. Guardian Wield, so did Tattered Drake, which is a pretty good one. I mean, Celestia just seemed so unappealing. I'm gonna take the Drake. But I guess some cards are wheeling, which is surprising. Okay. Alright. None of this seems great. I guess we take safeguard. Remand, sure, why not? So I guess we take you. So basically I don't think Celestia was right, but I'm not certain that uh, Demir is right either. But it seems like the most open, open of the color. Sure, not certain what we will be doing with that, but we will see. Right now we have like three, two green cards. One, two, and maybe not you. A couple of black cards and a bunch of blue cards. Uh, right, Mill, what do you do? Okay. I think Induce Paranoia could be pretty good. I don't feel like passing House of Shadows, but that might be correct. I mean, if anyone else is Demir, then I'm probably gonna snap this up. If they are uh, Mil Demir, but I think Induced Paranoia seems really good. It's just so much value in the, in that, and we could still splash green cards if we want. What do you do? Yeah, that seems pretty good. <laughs> I have to say. What else? Ooh, compulsive research. Boo. And another Miller. No searchlight. I wonder if compulsive research is just better than Circo, maybe? I don't think so, I'm gonna take him. Fully transcend into Demir. We're looking a bit heavy. We don't have that many win conditions yet. But we have three, that's pretty good, I suppose. So we have basically a tempo spell, two removal spells, a couple of win conditions. Psychic Drain. Yeah, that seems like a good one. Brain Spoil. Ooh, and another one of these, and a model of mixture. It seems like we are on the right track. So do we want the kind of fireballish card, the pretty good removal spell, or card advantage? That's kind of tough. I mean, if I leave both of these, one might wheel. Probably one will wheel anyway. Brain spoil. 
We already have two removals. I'm gonna take Psychic Drain, that seems sweet. Probably gonna play Golgai Rot Farm as well. That opens us up to playing like Safeguard if we want to. I mean, we don't have to. But we could. We need to fill up the bottom of, of the deck, I think. He he seems pretty sweet, just sits there and does stuff. Alright, we got another Dusk Mantle. Oh, and Demir Aqueduct, that's probably my pick. Most likely. A really good removal spell. A pretty good guy. A bounce land, and not a good land. And a card, jeez. I think I'm gonna take Demir Aqueduct, but it feels like we're in the right colors. At least now it feels like it. So we have one. It's not gonna wheel. Two, three, four cards from this pack that we could consider. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven other cards. It's not pretty. It's not that likely that they will come back around, but. I do know how good the bounce lands are. You get a pick. This is the first blue black we have seen, so we kind of have to take it, I think. All right. Perplex is pretty good, I think. Nah, let's be real. It's not really that great, <laughs> but it's 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 a kind of cool mechanic or kind of cool card. What do we got? No. This is a pretty weak pack. We have a Snapping Drake. Is that really it? Nothing that we want to... to uh, splash or anything either. Could take Perplex as a Transmute card for future 3-drops, because we really don't need a Snapping Drake, but I guess we'll pick it up. No. We've got Muddle Mixture, another Stasis Cell. Stinkweed Imp could actually be be a thing. Is it better than another Stasis Cell? Probably. It's a really good blocker. Yeah. I'm gonna take that. Okay. Another Clinging Darkness. Golgari seems somewhat open too, I have to say. I'm gonna take another Clinging Darkness. Ooh, really? You don't like these? This is also pretty nice. Uh, I think it's gonna take Drift of Phantasms. Like the best wall you can get and it can search up other stuff if you feel so inclined. So the Demir land did not wheel but the Golgar land did. Hey, we can have another Snapping Drake. I mean, I'm gonna take it for signals and whatnot, but I hope I don't have to play it. Spectral Searchlight. Sure. None of the good blue black cards wheel, but that's fine. We get another Tattered Drake. I think that's better. And this was the pack that I hoped that something would wheel, but they did not. Sure, take a sprite. It's still a fine card, I mean, it cycles for two mana, maybe get in for a few points or gain you a few life in the process. So I would like to cut the Snapping Drakes because we will probably not win with that. Now I can take a Perplex and I will take Model the Mixture. Cards like these are pretty good, it has multiple uses. This one. Probably gonna counter something on turn three, maybe four, but then no. But right now it gets like possibility to splash, good blockers. I mean, it's fine. We're still playing the rot farm, I feel like. 
So none of the Demir lands will. Interesting. Well, there is at least... My guess is that there is one more pure Demir player, maybe. And then one or two that are multiple colors. Uh, I'm not certain about that, but I think so. Now I think it's time for compulsive research. We have lurking informant, which is pretty good too. And we have consult, and that's basically it. I just think I take compulsive research, it's just so good. Drawing cards are good. I would like another entrancer. Right now we have one, two, three, four, four ways to mail, it's not that much. Alright, what do we got? We got the mere double ganger, which is pretty good. <sighs> nope, we got a Demir Signet, which is pretty good, and Dizzy Spell. So it's between Signet and Double Ganger. Signet is pretty important in the deck. Double Ganger is just good all around. I think I'm gonna take Double Ganger, actually. Sorry, Signet, you're really, really good, but I think Double Ganger is better at this point. We got a Terrarion if we want that. Telling time. Shade. Peel from reality. Do we have any combos with that? Not really. I guess we can play Drift and then return it to Transmute. We're just gonna take Telling Time or Terrarion. Terrarion just seems so clunky. We're not gonna splash anything, I don't think. Not right now, at least. Um, yeah, I guess Telling Time is fine. So right now the deck is more or less complete, now we're gonna try to upgrade a few cards. I would kill for another Vodalkin and Trancer. Uh, there we have another one of these. What do you do? Tap target creature, then return this to hand. I think now we'll just take this. This seems pretty good. It's it's expensive, but it's pretty good, I think. Now we can remove a snapping drake. Draw two cards. The enchanted creature has flying. Could take like this. It's pretty good. What do you do? A quick creature has defender, flying, and first strike. Well, no. <laughs> How about no? We're gonna play this. It says draw two cards. Not sure what we're gonna put it on, but might as well. Wow, now it's dried up. Very, very. <laughs> this is not good. Uh, let's guess we take that. Here we go. Another aqueduct. I think that's the best we can do here. It's actually pretty good. I'm not certain that the power level is here. Maybe we want to play Snapping Drake to have the uh, flying, uh, the the f the, f the f out of killing someone with flyers. Not appeal, not convolute. It's not super good. This is pretty good. Take convolute. In that case, I would like to remove the sprite, I think. Perplex. And that's basically it. Let's 
So we have like one, two, three, four, four ways to mill people. Another mind rot slash stuff. Yeah, all right. A two one for two that can gain flying. Sure. Do you want to splash this? I can't imagine. Well, ooh, this is actually something. Do I want this? Or do I just want this? Probably just want this, actually. 24, I can cut at least one more card. Searchlight, maybe. Could cut this. It's never gonna get something good. I guess it can fetch clinging darkness. Uh, probably not. Uh, sure. Yeah, Gold Garden seems a bit more open, but it has been primarily cards like this. Like, decent cards, but not fantastic. I think we've got a pretty decent deck anyway, hopefully. Let's see. And remand obviously not the best thing you can do, but it cycles and that's basically it. So we got right now 23 spells, which I think is Okay, we could probably add one more since we have four bounce lands. So do we want to splash like a Rotworm? Safeguard? Probably not Fists of Ironwood. That's basically what we could splash if we want to. We have one, two, three green sources. I don't think so. And of the other ones, it's more or less only the sprite I would consider playing. I think, ah, uh, maybe model the mixture too. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six flyers. That could get the job done. We get one, two, three, four, four ways of milling that's not much we don't really need spectral searchlight I suppose we could cut it yeah run uh, oh maybe we don't need to cut anything we should add something Don't need you. Could I flan flight of fancy? Not that we need to put it on anything, but drawing cards on ice, I guess. I think this will have to do. And yeah. Hopefully. Let's see what you say about this. Five eight. That gives us one, two, three, four, nine black sources and 10 blue sources. Seems appropriate enough. Alright, let's see if we can win anything. We want to be uh, stalling the game out and milling our opponents, or if the draw approves, we can beat them to death with snapping drakes. Alright, thanks for watching. I'll bring you the first match as soon as I can. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe, it really helps us out. You can find us on Twitter at MagicGathStrat, Facebook slash MagicGatheringStrat, or on the web MagicGatheringStrat.com. There you can find articles and free prize-supported leagues. This is all brought to you by our Patreons and CardHoarder.com. 
If you enjoy this content, please consider supporting us at patreon.com slash magicgatheringstrat.